I'm John. Prior to its streaming release on Netflix, Tick Tick Boom has received mostly positive reviews, praising the cast's performance, especially Garfield's and Miranda's directorial approach and style. Despite some critics arguing that some of its characters are underutilized, the musical still manages to capture the mess and process of leading a creative life. Here is the ending of Tick Tick Boom Explained, diving into the life, death, and legacy of Jonathan Larson. How much is real? In the film Tick Tick Boom, John's dismay over his failure is only alleviated by Stephen Sondheim's praise. This occurs years after the two meet at a BMI workshop, where Sondheim, known for his classic musicals West Side Story and Into the Woods, acted as a panelist on John's unfinished Superbia script. In reality, Larson, and Sondheim's relationship started when the former was still in college, when he sent a letter to the musical theater icon. What am I going to do? To his surprise, Larson received a reply, which would then spark a lifelong mentor-mentee relationship. Over the years, Sondheim encouraged Larson to network with other composers so he could gain confidence in his work. Larson would also receive recommendation letters to get development readings on his musicals. The two's last conversation was a month before Larson's untimely death. Tick Tick Boom focused heavily on Jonathan's crisis as he turns 30, unfortunately, he would suddenly pass away five years later. This was briefly touched on in Lin-Manuel Miranda's movie, the irony of Jonathan worrying about wasting his life and chasing his dreams before his time is up, only to receive immense posthumous success. During the rehearsals for Rent's off-Broadway production, Jonathan experienced severe chest pains and shortness of breath, but since his test results came back normal, his doctors misdiagnosed it as flu or simply a result of stress. However, in a tragic twist of events, he died on the day of Rent's first performance, suffering from an aortic aneurysm. Rent went on to become one of the longest-running shows on Broadway, running for 12 years and grossing over $280 million. The production also snatched four Tony Awards, six Drama Desk Awards, and a Pulitzer Prize for Drama. This popularity and acclaim established Rent as the musical that revolutionized the modern genre, launching the musical careers of artists like Adina Menzel, since known for voicing Elsa in the Frozen franchise. It also inspired local and international productions and earned a massive following and countless pop culture references. To fully give justice to Jonathan Larson's life and legacy, Miranda and screenwriter Stephen Levinson conducted thorough research at the Jonathan Larson archives at the Library of Congress. Despite knowing that Jonathan Larson would die a few years after the film's setting, the movie ends on an optimistic note, with Larson soon to begin writing his next musical, having been rejected and encouraged over and over again. Apart from showcasing the messy and sometimes draining process of creating musicals, tick, tick, boom, is a celebration of every artist's perseverance and creativity. The starving artist lifestyle that emanates from an obsessive relationship with one's craft has always been looked down on, with people simply dismissing it as a phase, a hobby, or a waste of time. Consequently, it is easy for artists to downplay their relevance in the world, especially if, as time passes by, they only get older, but they have nothing concrete or practical to show for it. Rosa, Rosa, hold on. So, okay. But tick, tick, boom, reminds its audience that art shapes and changes the world, outliving everything and everyone else, including the artists themselves. Jonathan Larson might not have seen how influential he became in the genre of musical theater, but his musical served as his successful attempt to wake up the succeeding generations, which he continued with Rent. Furthermore, Tick Tick Boom sends tired artists and confused young adults an I See You message, a pat on their backs, pushing them to continue living in, through, and for art.